Okay, this time I know we got it. I know we're going to have it. Um, let me just go like this. Lynn Burnett. Invited. We're, we're rocking and rolling. So as soon as she inv accepts that invite. Hey, Bonnie, how are you doing? We're just getting ready to get set to go live. Bobby, what's happening, my man? Good to see you. Lynn, I just sent you that invite. Hopefully you got it. Um, if not, let me know and I will send it again. Richard Shannon is on with us. What's happening, my man? Good to see you as well. And, oh man, please, guys, share this out. Let your people know that you are watching Grit and Grace on Facebook Live tonight. So, where are we at? Where's where's Lynn? Let's see. Maybe I'll send that invite. No, nope, it still shows that she's invited again. Cancel that. Uh, let me see. Okay, Lynn. Come on, girl. Request meeting request. Yep. Okay, uh, let me see. There it is. There she is. There it is. Now we got it. Now we got it. We're just waiting for her to pop here shortly. Ooh, did you hear that whistle? That is something that I wasn't expecting. But we've got a great show planned for you tonight. Uh, we are going to be talking about the six human needs. <laughs> hey, Lynn, how's it going? You got the hat, you got the coat. You must be a little bit chilly tonight. You even got the turtleneck going. Wow, you rock oh, the turtleneck. Oh, I'm fucking cold all the time. <laughs> oh, I hate wow. this. Hey, the my daughter means... Kara has checking this out. Awesome. It says Susan I joined Harrison, as a guest. Thank you for oh, tuning yeah. in. Yeah, you are on. We are good. We're seeing it. It's awesome. Just going to rock on over here to, uh, to my personal page. Sorry, folks. Apparently, it does not work on a business page. You have to do this on um your personal profile, but I'm going to be testing out some things a little bit later in the week. See if maybe we can't work something out so we can get this at least you know what? to a, uh, what's I that? I think I know the problem. I think I know the problem. Really? I had what's my the phone. Problem? I think I had, <laughs> I had my phone cause I was trying to click request to join and it wasn't doing anything. I think I had mm. my phone turned sideways too early because then when I oh. turned it right side up, then a little blue button appeared, request to join. Oh, and no. I hit that. But when it's sideways, it, that, it, it disappears. So anyway, it's, this is all wow. in the learning, right? It is. It, you know, this, we haven't really used this a whole lot yet, so please bear with us. We will figure our shit out. I promise you that. So Jeff Reed, thank you for joining us. Uh, wow, I couldn't say that name. Mario, you're on board with us. Thank you, Rich Embry, the producer. Producer Al is in the house and checking this out. So thank you all for checking this out. Please share it. Please hit that share now button real quick for us. We would love to get a share from you. Anyways, tonight we have a pretty big show. We kick off the series, uh, Six Human Needs series. Seven nights going through the six, six. human needs. Six. I, lo I love it. I love it. I mean, you guys. You're green. You, when... When you hit this, when you when you picked a, this topic and it came up with this idea to do a series, I was like floored because I was like, yes, finally, we're going to do another series. Because our last one, when we went through the grit test, that killed it. That I mean, we just skyrocketed after the grit test. And now people with this loved series, that. I think, people yeah, and loved I think it's because, the grit test. And if you're watching this and you don't know what the hell we're talking about, Go, you can go to our website at gritandgracetv.com because whenever there's certain things that we keep on our website as show resources. So if you're curious to know how much grit you've got, it's a fascinating test. And go to our website and go hit the show resources page and uh, just search for uh, grit test and it'll be there and you can download it and take it. It's, uh, it's awesome. So Oh yeah, I learned That's a lot about myself going through that test just like I learned a lot about myself going through this test. But before we get to our results, we're gonna go through each of the step or each of the six human needs and 
through the throughout the next two weeks, we're gonna pretty much just lay it out there for you. Yeah. And hopefully you go over and you take the grit test right along with us. That way when we do our reveal on day seven, you can share yours as well and we can all have a great time discussing what we found out about ourselves. Yeah, not so the grit test, the six human needs test. Which yeah, the six human needs test. You can go to our website right now, and it's the most recent one, Six Human Needs Test. You can take the online test yourself. There's no opt-in. There's no email. Just go to that, and at the bottom of the blog post, there's a link to the online test, and you can take it and find out um, the scoring for it. There's, like, there's no winning or losing or anything. This is really about learning more about how you move through life, how you make decisions, uh, how you respond to people, um, the things that are important to you. And this is the foundational work that Tony Robbins does. So I guess if you can't stand Tony Robbins, you might want to click off now. But this is the, this is the essence of the work, he, <laughs> all the work he does. This is what he does. This is what I use when I start with clients because I want to know how to talk to them, what they're going to respond to, and how best I can help people. So. Yeah, now this is something that, you know, Tony Robbins uses. That's absolutely true. But this is the foundation for pretty much every life coach that I've ever talked to when I was going through and, and becoming a coach myself. This is the foundation that they, they that kind of gives you that, that initial um, understanding for how to work with people. So just because Tony Robbins, if you don't like Tony Robbins, please don't go anywhere. Because this is the true foundation. <laughs> this yeah, understanding like. understanding yeah. where you fit in these six human needs, I promise you, it will help you become more healthy and more successful in life. So are you ready to get started? And I just want to say thank you to Dory if you're still watching because she's telling me that I, I oh, look yeah. fab. And well, you yeah, can't you see can. comments, right? I can tonight. I can see comments tonight. So. Oh, can you? What's okay. What's going on? Carlos, oh, Carlos Phoenix is in the house. Morning. What's up? Morning. Where are home. you, Drew? Oh, Drew Carson's even watching. Holy smokes! Drew's this in the is house. crazy. We're we're hitting across the pond, folks. This is awesome. So, are you ready to rock and roll? Should we get yeah, started? Let's do this. Should we actually get let's into it? it? All right, let's do this. So, let's every day you make certain decisions and take specific actions that come about as a result of how you think, feel, and the habits that you tend to indulge in. Most of the time, you probably don't give these decisions or actions a second thought. You probably don't even com contemplate why you did what you did. The six human needs are not desires or wants. They are physical. I, I'm sorry. There are psychological needs that we con constantly work to satisfy on a most unconscious level of awareness. These six human needs are the factors that influence your deepest motivations and effectively determine how you go about prioritizing your decisions. Throughout, uh, in fact, every single day, you are unconsciously striving to meet these needs, which are with, with varied success. Over the course of the next seven episodes, Lynn and I, <laughs> Lynn and I, I, read, I was reading, holy smokes, <laughs> I should have, I should have done this, I should have written this right, so pardon me, sorry, wow, Opal, you, you're in my head, girl. What's happened, Drew? Anyways, Lynn and I will dive deep into each of these six human needs and break them down to understand why one may be more dominant than some of the others and how knowing your order will help you succeed where before you may have failed. Along with each show, we will discover our own results and discuss the outcome of the test at the end of, this, of the seven shows. Remember, we're going to do the reveal at the very end. Yeah, we're not so, spilling the beans on ourselves till the end. Exactly, exactly. So what do you think, Lynn? I got it right <laughs> that time. <laughs> oh, thanks for joining, Jolene. There's, yeah, a lot of people on here. Thank you so much. If you want to, you know, we're going to get started on this. This is a, a great topic. This is a really a valuable topic. If you really want to understand yourself, um, so hit the share button so people can join in and, uh, and, and I just want to say again, if you're just jumping on, if you go to our website, you can take the test that we're going to talk about grit and grace, 
click on show resources, go to six human needs test. It'll be right there. Okay. All right. So let's so, switch over today. We are going to be talking about certainty. Yes. Certainty. This is something everybody needs. You, but I want to say something else first, because the six human needs, I want to say that the first four have to do with our basic living, the basic things that we need in life. The last two have to do more with uh, the spiritual aspect of who we are. And so, um, yeah, I just want to say, and you're, and they, they can change. So whatever your scoring is, um, we always look at your top two needs. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Stephanie. But they can change. Absolutely. So, but we always start in order. So yeah, certainty. Certainty. We all have the need to feel secure. We'd like to know that we're going to, you know, have a roof over our heads, that we're going to have food to eat and, um, you know, that we feel safe, that we're not going to have to worry about, uh, you know, drive-by shootings and bombings and things like that. Although nowadays that's, you know, that, that certainty is a little bit uh, wavering. Um, we want to feel comfortable. We want to feel secure. Avoiding pain is extremely important um, for people that if your top need is certainty, which some people, they don't make a move, a decision, say a word without absolute certainty of everything. That is not you. That is not you at all, CJ. No, it's it's not. It, it has nothing. Sir, I I'm, I jump. I mean, if people have ever listened to me even talk, I'll even talk before I even thought it all the way through. So I think a lot of people would will will agree that certainty is not me whatsoever. Um, yeah. And I really don't feel like it's you either. It it depends. Um, I mean, it, I mean, all of the needs are important to us. We have to have all six needs met, but at varying levels. There's certain things that I like to know. Like, I, I like to know that I have a roof over my head and I'm going to have food to eat and gas in my car because I drive in my jammies sometimes and I would hate to, like, break down and stuff like that. So, but for some things, yeah. but it's not me, really. But you can tell with people with certainty they use – um, you know, certain language all the time, you know, I need to know, um, you know, there's certain words that people that certainty is really important. You can tell by the language they use. That's really helpful. And you'll get to know people too, by, um, you, they just, they don't make a move without asking everybody they know. I think we all know somebody like that. They'll ask everybody their opinion on what they should do. Yeah. You know, I, right. I, it's funny because I know I know pr people that are like that. Even in the workplace, they're unsure. Um, simple solutions to problems that come up regularly, they will still ask for your opinion on a solution, even though it's a problem that they've had worked out or worked out. You know, assholes. maybe several times. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely, okay, assholes. But, yeah. but uh, <clears throat> But certainty is so important. It, they hate change. There's, and you know, it's funny because in my twenties, when you'd think, you know, I'd be more carefree, which I did do a lot of shit in my twenties, but I <laughs> hated change. And I used to get teased a lot because something would change at a routine and, you know, people would go, I know it's changing Lynn, but, and now I crave it. <laughs> so that just goes to show that your needs can change for various reasons. Either you purposely change it through you know, personal development, or you just grow, um, you know, it's different for different people. Now, it, having that, that is a top need. I mean, that can definitely serve you. You have that belief, you know, you can avoid risks. Absolutely. You'll never, you know, you'll have to have to worry about anything. And, but, uh, you know, you, you're careful about everything. Uh, you're predictable, extremely organized. Okay. I'm extremely organized. Like I get teased because my fridge is organized and if someone puts something back on the wrong shelf in the fridge drives me insane each shelf has a purpose in the fridge <laughs> <laughs> but that's not really certainty that's more yes it's certainty compulsive. because if i'm going to look at that shelf <laughs> when i want something it should be on that yeah. shelf but absolutely but but there's you know, other ways that this can really serve boring, you though right 
Well, yeah. absolutely. Um, I knew from an early, early age that certainty, well, I didn't know that until recently, but I have never been that person that has been able to get with routine. Um, for example, when I go to the gym, I can't follow a written routine. I can't. I always, I always follow what my body feels like doing. So if I want to do say chest two days in a row, I'm going to do chest two days in a row. If I only feel like doing legs like once every two weeks, well, it, it's mainly because that shit hurts. But, you know, I, I have to follow what my body tells me to do. And I can't continue to do the same thing over and over and over. Yeah. Same thing with growing up in when I was younger uh, with sports, for example. I would go play baseball. Well, towards the end of the season, I was starting to get burnt out on baseball already because every day was go to practice. I look forward to the games because the games were different. The games were the, the, were the change, you know, that's, that's when you got to put everything together and whatever happened, happened. But mm -hmm. practice was always really boring to me because nothing changed. It was the same, same routines, same drills all the time. And no, Todd, I do not have chicken legs. So double fingers <laughs> to you, buddy. Double fingers. Love you, but no. <laughs> Anyways. So yes, I, I knew yeah. early on that, you know, this certainty has never been something that was important to me. And I think some of that, I think we grow up with with some of that uh being ingrained in us you know people who maybe are from more unstable relationships in the home kind of go towards that certainty a little bit more because they just they don't feel it when they're younger so the older they get the more they feel like they need mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. their their need for certainty is going to be much higher absolutely and i want to say too that um you know, there is no right or wrong. If certainty is your top need, then that's your top need. It's really about understanding that need and what that means. Because a lot of times people will say they want something, but everything they do goes against that. And they don't understand why the same thing keeps happening over and over and over. But when you understand, you know, when you understand my top need is for certainty, I have to know absolutely what's going to happen every day. And I have to know that there's going to be absolutely nothing bad that's going to happen to me. When you understand that, then you can work with yourself. So it's not a bad thing. You know, it's really an under, it's the, like the instruction manual for yourself to understand. And a lot of times we will meet these needs in a negative way. So if you understand that, then you can put some things in place and go, oh, okay, I do this and this and this all the time. And that's why I'm struggling. And I don't understand why these things are happening to me. It's because I'm just hanging on to this need of certainty in everything. So maybe some things, it's okay to have that as a top need and have it to be so strong. And then find other ways that you can still have that need met, but you can loosen a little bit so you can get the things that you want. Stephanie says, yeah, I used to love having a fridge that was in order. That was before having a husband and son. Now I have <laughs> certainty that it will be a different way. Oh, no, my no, my no, what show if it goes on? And my son is just like me. <laughs> He's so organized. I love it. So he puts away groceries with me because he knows exactly where I like everything. So anyway. But yeah, it's Stephanie, really just it to understand. You? <laughs> I was just going to ask Stephanie real quick. Does it bother her if, say, her husband was to hang the towel over the curtain rod in the shower? Because for some reason, it, I get yelled at every single day for that. She And you would think, you would think being yelled at every day for having the towel over the curtain rod, I wouldn't do it. But now I just do it because she yells at me. And <laughs> Oh, what an ass. <laughs> Are there hooks know, in the bathroom? It, See, I have hooks well, in the bathroom. There's, there's hooks and there's shelves. So. <laughs> they, See, she's smart. They have different bathrooms. But you can't always have different from bathrooms. That. No, not yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not too far away from that. My daughters, I've got one daughter that's graduating this year, one daughter graduating in two years. So by the time those two are out of the house, I'm pretty sure she'll kick me out into my own bathroom. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, own bathroom for sure. And for sure. You're right. It does, does not, not bring peace. peace. It does not bring <laughs> peace. However, what but it, it brings does fun. do is it, 
it brings fun and it brings a way for us to kind of interact and that way I can tackle her and we can start wrestling and we're you know. just going to stop right there. Anyways, you know, uh, where wrestling <laughs> leads to. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> so what are some of the consequences of losing sight of of this principle? Um, you limit new experiences. You get stuck in a rut and that could be for anything. Um, you know, you have trouble letting f- love flow into your life if you're single. Um, you know, that's a big risk is meeting new people. And if you're looking to date and meet the one that's out there, it, you know, there's, that's loaded with uncertainty. <laughs> Apparently nowadays, as I'm reading these things about dating in 2017 and ghosting and all that stuff, but it's going to be difficult to find somebody if you're dating and, and that um, you have problem meeting new friends, involving yourself in activities, volunteering if it's important to contribute. Um, chances are you'll be, you know, more depressed, um, more anxiety. Um, and it could be difficult with friendships because people will, could see you as very controlling when really you're not controlling, you're just trying to control your environment because security and safety and certainty is so important. Um, you could seem boring and people won't want to be around. Um, but you're predictable at the cost of being spontaneous. And we all need a little bit of that. We need some balance, right? Absolutely. You know, and Stephanie brings up a great point, being open to receive it. And anything in life involves uh, being open to things, people that are different. And that's absolutely true. You don't have to, I mean, if you, if certainty is on top, that's maybe one of the things that maybe you really have to concentrate more on is being open to those new experiences and, and allowing people into your life that may add value to your life. There's so many people out there who really want to contribute and want to be there to, you know, be a loyal friend or, or maybe even help you get to a spot where you're trying to get to. So it's, it's extremely, extremely important to be able to stay open to being able to experience those new things. Oh, and yes, like Joan says, um, her husband passed away, big change. That's a big change. There's a lot of uncertainty that just, um, gone so you know in that case and you know like i said your needs can change and sometimes it can be temporary so that might be a case that you're really needing security that certainty um because life has just turned so upside down and my condolences um joan i'm not sure if it's recent or a while back but yeah that that is a big change absolutely absolutely now in part of this was talking about the principles you lose sight of things like that. Now, I'm just going to read this because I thought it was kind of cool about how they how they put this out there. And it kind of pertains to the things that that we just talked about in the chat, or, you know, commented on in the chat. It says the, the future is unpredictable. All we have is the present moment where there is no risk, there is no gain. It is possible to be uncertain about the future yet happy in the present. Now, I say all the time, you got to live in the moment. You got to live in the moment because moments change on an instant. And if we're not living in that moment, we're, we're going to miss everything that we can experience now. Um, mm-hmm. It's not a bad thing to plan your future because, you know, they say failure to plan is planning to fail. But at the same yeah. time, it's it doesn't have to be so set in stone. Your, your plan's got to be, you know, like a river it changes you know you add more to it more information comes in the water level gets higher as as it gets as things start coming to an end it starts getting thinner you know so you got to be able to to flow with whatever comes at you but it's good to have a plan and when you have that certainty as your number one priority and understanding that you have that certainty is your number one priority it can it it arms you with the ability to be able to make those plans and be able to, you know, understand how you can make changes that are comfortable for you and still be certain about what you're doing to move forward. Exactly. That's exactly it. What you said, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but once you know it, then you can structure uh, your life 
around it and the things that you do. Absolutely. So it's just when you meet those needs in a negative way, there's a lot of people that will seclude themselves, that don't get involved, um, that don't call their friends, wait for their friends to call them, but really hide away and hide who they are because it, life is just too unpredictable. So, you know, it's, it's just understanding that. So it's finding a way to meet that need, but in a positive way. So you do have a happier life. So you do feel more connected. So we've got some things that you can focus on, but I have a client <coughs> story that I can demonstrate. Oh, wait, Stephanie. You used to always need control, but I almost lost my life twice and my husband almost lost his once. Really changed my perspective drastically. I actually have happier freedom now that I've learned. Uh, that I've learned. Oh, I'm hit more and I disappeared. It's, it learned says learn to process differently. differently. <laughs> yeah, live now. Absolutely. Absolutely. So there's an example of that. And sometimes it's things that happen to us that shake us up, that get us out of that. They're always changing. They're always changing. And it's really just understanding and recognizing it. But um, I love, I love how you read that. Out. I was like, uh, I love to see more. I was trying to find my spot again. Cause it was like, <laughs> see more. So I clicked on it and I was like, well, shit, where was I reading in that? Um, and like, and like Stacy said, you know, your ability to influence your future exists in the present moment. So tying that into what Stephanie even said, you know, it's absolutely right. You know, it's, you really have to live now, live in that moment. You just, and everything you do now in that moment sets up the next stage and whatever it is that you have planned. Yeah. I have a quick client story. Do you want me yeah. to share it? Give an example yes. of this, how it works. So um, let's say her name is, I don't know, like her name's Mary. And so Mary really needed to lose weight, like, like her doctor telling her she really needed to lose weight. So, um, but her issue was cookies, like cookies. She could eat like a whole bag of cookies. That was her main thing. So, um, it was suggested that she could have a cookie because you know what? I don't believe that we should deny ourselves of everything. Like I just like, we're here to live, like enjoy the damn cookie. Like don't, I hate denying and, and being so strict, like eat the damn cookie, but just one. But if you eat more than one, you've got to bake a couple dozen cookies from scratch, not a mix you've got to bake from scratch a couple dozen cookies and bring them to um, a women's shelter. That was the deal. She was like, okay. Didn't know, but agreed to it. So the first day she couldn't eat just one cookie. She ate more. So she had to bake two dozen cookies and she brought them to the women's shelter. And, but the deal was if she, if on the days that she only ate one cookie, she didn't have to bake any cookies and deliver cookies. So the first few days did not, probably the first week probably didn't, she delivered a lot of cookies to the women's shelter. <laughs> um, but it was really, really good because they loved it. Obviously who doesn't love homemade cookies, right? And got to meet some people got to make some friends. She felt appreciated. It was awesome. And so what happened was it became really popular. Word got out a little bit. So what she ended up doing was baking cookies with her grandchildren. And every Sunday at some local market, they would go and sell these cookies. Had a fabulous time. Ended up turning it into a little business. Eventually, she hated the smell of baking cookies, <laughs> never ate any more cookies, but grew this little business and spent great time with her grandchildren and met some great friends. So there is like contributing to something greater than yourself. There is building some connection with people that are close and important to you. And, you know, this is really how we want to look at it is how can 
you get your needs met knowing that that's what she did all the time, that she could um, connect with her grandchildren regularly uh, and, and contribute to something greater than herself. And so that is really the benefit of her understanding what her needs were and how to turn things into a positive. Because when you can get your needs met and meet other people's needs at the same time, that's what you want to try to accomplish with this. I'm so still that's wondering story. though, I'm still wondering how many of those people down at the women's shelter were upset because now they had to buy their cookies instead of just getting <laughs> free cookies every time she wanted cookies. So <laughs> that's, uh, I would, yeah. I'd feel like, I'd be like, hey, where's my cookies? I didn't get no cookies she, this week. She'd just still continue to do it because you, Oh, you I'm know, sure she would. Friends, I'm sure, right? Nobody but with a, nobody with a heart the that way could ever do that. Yeah, absolutely. That's exactly what, you know, and lost weight. So we tend to find comfort and certainty in, in food. So usually a lot of times that people that, um, that, you know, that are overweight, that do want to lose weight, it's that comfort, it's that security, it's that certainty. They have the food to turn to. We talk about comfort food, right? We can grab our favorite food and we, it, we know it, how it's going to make us feel. There's no denying, like we know there's certainty in how we're going to feel. We know how it's going to taste and we know we're going to love it. So that's the power of understanding this. So I just want to share that. So there in that story, there, some of the biggest strengths that popped out at me were the fact that the, the ability to stick to something, even though she did not like the smell of cookies, she was still able to stick to it because of knowing her, knowing her strengths and things like that. I mean, some of the strengths, I mean, I'm organized, reliable, and dependable. Those strengths really stand out in the people with certainty as a priority. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the right away, as soon as you, as soon as you started talking about not being able to stand the smell, but still continue to do it with her, with her grandchildren and everything like that, those boom, right, right away, that popped off the page for me. And, you know, let's talk about some of the other strengths that, that people who demonstrate this as a priority of a, of a human need, uh, what other things can they, can they really leverage to, to push them to that next level? I think, you know, it's really what to focus on, right? So um, that's another thing that Tony Robbins talks about is, you know, what you focus on. We hear that, what you focus on ex grows and expands, right? You know, when you buy a certain car, all of a sudden you see that car everywhere, right? It, oh, yeah. Because you're focused oh, on that. Right. You know, if you're focused on shitty things, everything's shitty and it just goes downhill from there, right? It, it's the same thing. Those days where we feel like we're on fire, everything is magic. The day isn't any different, but it's what you're focusing on. So I think it's to know as well, if this, if you feel this is you, you can change your focus, you know, focused on certain routines. If there's routines that make you feel better, I think my screen is stuck like on comments. Does it look the same way for you? I don't nope. Know. It's running anyway. fine on this side. Yeah. Everything's running okay. fine. <laughs> um, you know, focus on routines if that makes you feel better. If there's things that are really going to stress you out, I mean, obviously you don't want to do that. But focusing, you know, maybe it's your morning routine. Maybe it's, you know, try, uh, or maybe your work is, is I, I don't think you'd be a really good entrepreneur if certainty is like your top need because being an entrepreneur, that's all about risk and things being thrown at you and, you, and not knowing, I mean, you can control it somewhat, but focus on um, the small things, your daily routine, but at least try one thing different. Try one thing different that you can do that's a little bit out of the norm and see how that feels. And then you can take baby steps from there. So it's really just understanding what, what it is that you want to focus on. Uh, I lost my train of thought there for a second. I was gonna say something. Yeah, else. me too, because I, I got I got caught off guard with the comments. Is uh, when 
Las Vegas had the, that uh, massacre shooting. People were coming out of the woodwork, helping others, saving lives and giving blood, etc. Yeah. You know, you know, absolutely. I mean, they, people, people will put other people's needs above their own, I would say, most of the time. And, mm-hmm. and it just, you know, it's, it, but it all comes down to these six human needs. You, you go through that test. And we, I want to reiterate this test that we have at gritandgrace.com. Go through that test. It will help you find out what your priorities are. It'll put those, those six human needs in order for you of most important to, well, I don't want to say least important because all of them are important. They make up who you are. And mm-hmm. we're going to go, go through that over the course of the next seven days, but it will help you understand where you're at. And once you understand that, like we're talking about with certainty, once you understand that you can turn that into a strength and be able to leverage that to be able to push yourself way, way beyond what you think you're capable of of doing yourself. Yeah, absolutely. Um, So let's look at growth and balance for, so that you get your needs met in a, a certain way because we are I can't believe like where the time has gone and you know we always <laughs> like to leave people with something that they can take and do and um, you know growth and balance to get to to get the need met in a positive way so your goal is to be able to live in the present right like we talked about what are you laughing at your your microphone keeps rubbing on your zipper and it's making some pretty oh, unique sounds. Uh, <laughs> I know I shouldn't clip that, right? There's I feel it hanging up show. on my jacket. <laughs> no, I can't it do that because then you won't hear me. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Every show we have to have something, whether it's you freezing up on a funny face, you flashing us, whatever it is, we got to have something. Flashing, I've never flashed. I can tell you, you that. You just did it. You just now did it. <laughs> I gotta have to Anyways. get a clip. I don't have a click on it. So yes, we we do need to finish up strong, and we do need to give some massive, massive value here. So let's let's take her home. Let's let's see if we can deliver for these people because that that's what they come to grit and grace for. That's right. Got to deliver. Okay, so you want me to carry on what I was saying? <laughs> carry on, yes. As I hold my jacket open. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the goal is to be able to live in the present because we talked about this already, and you mentioned it. It's in the present that you can look at what it is that you want and how you can determine your future and how you want to move forward and to experience it. You don't want to have to focus on what's going to happen next and is it going to, you know, and be all stressed out about that, right? And what the future is going to hold for you. And it became, a lot of people will become really full of anxiety. You don't want that because then you're not enjoying the present moment, right? You got to take some risks. I mean, life is a risk, right? So you have to be able to be loosen up enough that you can allow some of those risks to come in. Otherwise, you will miss out on so many awesome things. I just saw that comment. That's not my zipper. Um, (laughs) And you want to be able to take, yeah, risks in order to reap some benefits, right? You need to accept that uncertainty and insecurity is part of life. So it's really to understand, really understand that, that there's going to be risks. And that's part of the you know, fun. I, I, one thing different. I used, to, I used to love to tell my clients that I work with is, you know, when you accept change and when you, ex- and you love the adventure, everything that comes to you, everything, it doesn't matter if it's now a it's routine that you do every single day <laughs> doesn't matter if it's you know going to the work on an assembly line where you press the same part every single day if you look forward to having adventure and you look forward to changes even those most routine days can feel like they just go by super fast yeah. and you know take that chance step out of your comfort zone and definitely definitely you know, 
just wet jump down. into something. Jump into something that is different. Whether it's something that scares you to death, like say jumping out of an airplane, or whether it's something. Okay, as well, that may be a as, little bit of a extreme for somebody. It's, it's on the extreme side. It's on the extreme side. Yes, but what I'm saying is, if if you don't scare the shit out of yourself from time to time, you're yeah. never going to feel like you're living. Yeah. But if you're paralyzed with uncertainty in a negative way, that might be, you know, take baby steps, right? And work up. I want to jump baby out of a plane. Step. That's on my bucket list. I want to skydive. <laughs> I totally want to skydive. So but let's anyways. finish up with the last couple things or do you do the next one? Yeah. What to do? Oh, I so just clicked off do. of that page so I could go check oh, okay. something well, else. I so will, I will, so I will read Take us then. to the next thing. <laughs> Stretch yourself by learning new things and having new experiences. It could be taking a course. Try something new. That could be scary for somebody who maybe doesn't leave their house because they're uncertain of what could happen. Just take, maybe take a course at a community rec center. You'll meet some new people. You'll learn something new. You know, it may, that may seem like a very small thing to a lot of people, but to some people, that is a huge, huge thing. So do that. You will not believe the things that can come of just doing that, just getting outside. So do that. Um, experience some excitement and joy. Enjoy a challenge. Develop courage. And to be able to act even when you feel insecure and just doing something like that. Hell, drive home from work a different route that you, than you normally do. Route, route. How do you route, say it? Route, route. It's all the same. Route, route. It's all the okay. same. <laughs> I didn't know if it was different in Canada or the U.S. Well, you know, you know um, we had Route 66. Yeah, I, I've never heard oh, anybody yeah, call right. it Route 66. I've never so. said route. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> route that sounds mental. <laughs> okay. What interferes with your goal? So this comes with, why am I always getting the same stuff all the time? Well, that's because you're doing the same thing. That is your, that's your need that you're operating from at a high level, right? So you want to feel comfortable, but you also want to plan for the future and have goals. But if you're overprotective and controlling, that's going to be difficult. So really ha have an understanding of what are the things you want and what are the aspects of certainty that are getting in the way of that? Because you can maintain some certainty. We all have that need to have that need met just at different levels. So it's not bad. We just need to find the thing that works for you so you can get that need met in a positive way, allowing yourself to grow and be able to experience life. Right? Absolutely. Sorry. I... Hell yeah. I had a glitch. Yeah. Let's <laughs> go with that. <laughs> so, you know, you know what? It's always... but go ahead. Last thing. Yeah. I was going to say, I just wanted to touch on something else. Uh, when you were talking about taking courses and things like that, here's something huge that you can do. And it's for a lot of people, it's scary as hell. And it's something so simple. We're doing it right now. And that's jump on a Facebook live and share your story because yeah. sharing your story will connect you with so many people who will say, me too. And when you can start connecting with those people that say, me too, you, can, you will find a tribe of people that are willing to support your efforts and people that you can in turn support theirs. So mm -hmm. get out there and do a Facebook Live. I know sometimes it's scary, especially when you're telling your own personal story. That yes. can be the most frightening thing in the world. So- Try that. That's a, that's a, yeah, bigger... that's a perfect. I, so I love that you said that because that is so true. When people tell a story and we're like, Oh my God, like you're reading my mind. Absolutely true. And, uh, but you know what? I, I know for some people, this could be really intimidating for people, but Facebook has Facebook audio. So it's like going live, but just your voice. So if it, the thought of that freaks the crap out of you, Try just doing the audio so that people are just <laughs> listening to you and you're not having to show your face. And like CJ said, you know, if there's people that are like, yeah, that's me too. Like, I just feel like I just, 
then maybe you could get a group together. Maybe you could have like an online virtual group where you can get together and you can support each other. And Hey, I'm going to do this today and, and way to go. And you know, who knows what could, that could turn into. So there you go. So what else do we have? That is it. We like, oh, well, of course, what? didn't have a Are we problem serious? It. it can't be it. I mean, you and I were never at a loss for words. So oh, I guess I if, uh, so I, you know, we both, we both kind of have our own spins on things and we love to hear your spin on things as well. So thank you everybody who commented in the chat, who are part of the show. And if you're watching on the replay, please keep chatting along. We always go back and check out mm. to see if there's any new comments and answer any questions. Yeah. And if you want to ask a question that you want on air, that's something that we talk about, or if you have an idea for a topic coming up later on this month, please go to gritandgracetv.com. That's G-R-I-T-A-N-D-G-R-A-C-E-T-V.com. And on the page, we have a, a section where all you have to do is leave your comment. It's totally anonymous. You don't have to tell us who you are. That way, there's no embarrassment there's no you know whatever just go on there leave that comment leave that question and we will do our best to give you our thoughts on whatever it is that you have to say and uh, where else can they find us well they can find us everywhere if you just go to our website you'll see Pretty that much. we're available every which way we're available you can subscribe to our YouTube channel that way you don't you won't miss any because of these all get uploaded to our YouTube channel. So if you can't make these, uh, <clears throat> then you can subscribe and you will get a notification that um, the latest video is available, but you can get all of that on our website. Just go there. If you like to listen to audio only, we have these available in podcast. So it's audio only. You could listen while you're walking, doing housework, whatever you want to do. You can catch everything on our website. It's the best place to find everything you need, <laughs> how to reach it's us. It's got everything. It, it's it's one got stop everything. Shop. You know? Yeah, it's one-stop it. shop for Grit and Grace TV. That's and, right. And, uh, you know, we also want to thank everybody who showed up. Nate, Joanne, Stacy, Stephanie, Todd, the, Kara, everybody. I wish I could remember yeah. everybody's names. I don't remember. I, I know it goes by down. and you yeah. yeah, they just keep on going and going and going. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching tonight. We appreciate each and every one of you, and we strive to do our best each and every time we come out here. So thank you very much. And thank you, Lynn, for bringing such an amazing series to Grit and Grace. Well, it's good. It's, you know, it's so helpful. I review. I go back and review because, you know, we're human, right? We can't, we're not... Sometimes we're not always aware sometimes, you know, so, but so tomorrow night we're tackling the next human need and that is uncertainty and variety. So we're going to talk about that tomorrow night. So come back and join us tomorrow night. So until then, go take the test. you don't have to go take that test. Do it. I yeah. promise you, it will yes. open your eyes to some pretty amazing things. Yeah. All right. Well, till tomorrow night, we'll be seeing you. Bye.